Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz and today I want to look at this map Yukon. Now I like Yukon, I think it's a cool map and there are many ways to play it. You see a lot of people going this way in their mediums and their lights either going up to that area there or going into that area there to cause a bit of mayhem. You see some people going this way down into that cap area around there and you see some people just milling around in the middle. So what is it about this map? How is it to be played? Well, it depends. If you're on supremacy, then obviously the idea is to get those caps early doors. And from this spawn, that means jumping into the sea cap, which is normally around there. Is it the sea cap? I think it's the sea cap. And trying to get some pressure on the A cap over there. Now, if you are very medium or light with hardly any TDs then it could be worth looking at that D cap which sits in that little dip just about there however this is not a supremacy game that I'm going to show you I'm going to show you two replays neither of which is supremacy both of them are encounter and what I'm going to do they're both from different spawns the first game will be from this spawn and excuse the idiot with the very loud exhaust the first one is from this morning. What I'm going to do, I'm going to roll out in a heavy tank, and it's going to be the uh, E5, the American tier 10 heavy, and I'm going to try and dominate and hold this position here. Why? Well, from this position, the enemy have effectively got two ways. You've got effectively two ways to sort of predict the enemy's movement. You've got coverage on this side, and you've got coverage on this side without being overly committed. Admittedly, on that particular game, I do make a few mistakes, but my enemy make a lot more. The other game, I'm going to be on the other side. I'm going to spawn from this side. And what I'm going to do in that game, that game is supremacy, I believe, but, but I'm going to play it more of an encounter. And I'm going to be in an E4, the American Tier 10 Heavy uh, TD. And what I'm going to do on that one, I'm going to show you how to dominate this middle area and how to sucker punch the enemy. And that's what we're going to be looking at. I'm going to ignore almost entirely in that game that side of the map. And I'm going to be looking more at the middle and this side of the map. So without any further ado, let's get into those games. So as I said, this is us on Yukon in the American tier 10 heavy tank the e5 now let's be honest the e5 since its nerf is not as dominant as it used to be but it's still a relatively nice tank and what i'm going to do i'm going to take it to this corner as i explained in the overview because what i want to do i want to prevent any of the enemy getting a foothold um, down the flanks or if they try to go to the cap now the reason i say that is because a lot of youtube videos out there on yukon are telling people go and take the cap so I always anticipate a lot of people coming around this corner. Now that was a fair trade, okay, I lost a bit of HP, but it was a fair trade. It was a lot fairer than the trade I'm going to do in a moment with this IS-7. So I peek up, manage to get the shot in, but the IS-7 gets a much better shot into me. Now I've got an Emil 2 doing exactly the right thing. The only problem is for the Emil 2 is that he is incredibly isolated. His team has not gone with him. So he is now going to be in a world of pain. Hopefully I should be able to track him here. No, I don't. Uh, but, you know, the reload isn't as good as it used to be on the E5. But we're still going to be able to give this little Emil to a bit of a world of pain. And I feel sorry for him because he, if he would have had some support, he would have ended up that engagement slightly better off. But he didn't. Now I make a couple of mistakes. But, so I get smacked by the 57 Heavy there. I'm going after this uh, standard B, fluff the shot completely, don't know why, losing hit points rapidly. And the enemy team, whilst I made numerous errors there, crossing in the open, crossing against tanks, the enemy don't capitalise on it. That allows me to get behind this big rock. Now, the turret of the E5 is quite nice. I'm going to be able to bully this 57 Heavy. The difference between me and the Emil 2, I've got support. I've got some very heavy tanks behind me mainly the 60 TP and the Mushin. The 57 Heavy really, you know, he, he sort of, he tried, he got some good shots into me, but now he's in a world of pain and I managed to take him down. 
Now I've got a problem with the IS-7 and I'm worried about the IS-7. I'm a one-shot to literally everything out there. My game is not going according to plan. IS-7, troll the armor. Now why he doesn't push on me and why he pushes on the Conway is anybody's guess. I'm assuming he's after those big damages and that's why he pushed there. It's going to end in tears for him. I managed to take him down. Despite the fact that I only had 128 hit points, and if he would have pushed me, he would have got me out of the game. Admittedly, the Conway may have put a shot into him, but the Conway put a shot into him anyway, so he could have weathered that storm. I got lucky there. It was an error by the IS-7 player, and the 57 player allows me to capitalize. Now just the ho re left, come around the back, put one into his side. I'm not going to have enough time to do another round into him, but I'm happy with that game. Yeah, 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 I admit I was lucky but I was happy with the game. My overall game plan wasn't at fault. Some of my movement and rotation, however, was at fault. And we get a second class, we do over 3k damage, we kill three tanks, we survive the battle. And, you know, as I said, I'm very happy with that game on how I played Yukon. And it, it, it didn't, it was not, you know, I already had a game plan after looking at their lineup and I stuck to that game plan. So we're now going to swap those spawn points, and here we are in the E4, the American Tier 10 Heavy um, TD. The one that's got the rotating turret rather than the E3, which has the boxed fixed turret. Now I don't generally play Supremacy, I must admit, but I was tuning up and my tune mate wants to play Supremacy, so we're playing Supremacy. So what I'm going to do, I'm a slow TD with amazingly strong frontal armor, so I'm going to grab the B cap, and then what I'm going to do I am going to run as much as you can run in an E4 to the middle area. And what I now do here shows you how dominant you can be around this center part of the tank if you've got a tank that's got good armor. Put a relatively mediocre roll into the 57 Heavy. I'm going to bounce everything coming from the 50B in the Yo because they're just hitting my turret. They're trying to get the Coppola. Um, I put a nice roll into the O for 652. Now I'm going to back away a little bit. I'm worried about the 57 Heavy and I'm worried about them getting shot into my Coppola. Come around a little bit. I can see the E3. He's making a push. Now undoubtedly he's making a push to try and help out his, two, his teammates. I put a massive roll into him and track him. He is now in a world of pain. He's not going to last much longer. Somebody will take him down and somebody eventually does. I'm not worried about the Yo in the 50B now. I'm going to try and put one into this 57 Heavy, work around the corner, trying to get a nice high roll of 800, and now I can, can, forget, I can forget the 57 Heavy, and I can concentrate on this side of the map around by the A cap. Now, I'm hoping that the Vickers will come in and take the 57 Heavy. Um, I think he's a one-shot to the Vickers, may not be. And it allows me to come down, maybe take the A cap. But I'm not interested in taking the A cap. I'm more interested in taking shots here. So I'll get a good roll into the T30, get a bounce. I'm not going to bounce the object 84. He's going to pump one into me, but it's only 200. I can manage that. As I said, I'm not overly fussed about taking the cap. Don't particularly want it. No point taking the shot there. Oh, there's a Sheridan high and dry. Get a nice roll into him. We're already at 3.8k damage here. We've lost a few hit points. We've taken no kills, but we've taken a base and we've had a bit of fun. My teammate there manages to ammo rack the object. I take out the T30. I've now got one kill up to 4k damage. There's the Sheridan. He's going to drop down. He takes a good kill on the Vickers. He's going to drop down, but he's going to uh, he's got he's got problems, and I'm going to be able to put one into the back of him, and we win the game. So. Two different types of gameplay there on Yukon, but in real terms, very similar. You formulate a plan to begin with. When you look at their lineup, then you know if your plan is gonna work or not. In both cases, the plan I formulated prior to rolling out worked, and I managed to stick to it. And that's what you should be looking at doing on maps like Yukon, guys. Anyway. That's how I play Yukon on those two tanks in those two particular games. By all means, comment and everything below. Let me know how you play it. I've been Fujit, that's been Yukon, and until the next time, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that really is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.